Uh, so what is the answer here? Yeah, you know, it's it's interesting because they asked Tomlin, you know, were you happy with the play calling? Which is like, we know that things didn't go well. And he says, I think, uh, you know, I'd be lying if, I, if anyone here said we're happy with how things looked in week two. Mm -hmm. But I don't see Pickett coming in week three just yet. I feel like this Trubisky decision was made in the summer. He has earned that job, and they're not going to bail on him the first second things get rocky. This might be as much about Matt Canada, the play caller right now, as it is about Mitchell Trubisky and these guys getting together and figuring it out how to make it work. Huge week for Trubisky, though, week three. You can't go in three different weeks and have the offense be anemic. They got the win in week one. They had opportunities in week two. Week three is going to be enormous, but I don't think it's Kenny Pickett week to start the week. That's how I feel reading the tea leaves and also from what I'm hearing. Um, sorry if that Steelers fan base that probably wants to see at least what Pickett can do. It might not be time yet. And I think Mike Tomlin's earned that trust from the fan base to at least make that decision when the decision's right. Well, short week. Uh, Thursday night at Cleveland, like a quick turnaround. Yep. But look, th I... I don't think it's going to be Mitch either. But this is Mitch's last stand. Like, if you lose to the Browns and you go one and two, like, I, I think that has to move on. You know, Mitch is always so tricky because he checks so many boxes. Is that he's really athletic and he's a really good teammate and he works hard and he always says the right things. And, like, those are all really important. There's this box, though, at the bottom of the list where you have to play really well in the games. And, like, that, that is very important. And I, I just always say, like, when someone tells you who they are, listen to them. Mitch has told us who he is for years. He is, he is a pretty decent guy who can have flashes of really good and then flashes of bad. And, like, I, I, I'm ready. Like, I, I, the, the short week thing changes it. I wouldn't start Kenny Pickett now, but I, I'm ready for Pickett. I have been since the preseason. I thought he looked the part. I think we go way back with Mitch Trubisky. We know what he is, and we definitely know what he isn't. And it's nothing personal, but I would like to start Pickett as soon as it's reasonable. I would. There was that ridiculous stat you came up with, and I don't want you to... I, I can't wait. It was, no, it was you came up with it. It was, like, over the last 50 years... Um, oh, yeah. The, the Pick pat, sixes. There was a, there was a pat Pass attempt minimum that it had to reach. It was a great yeah. amount of quarterbacks that hadn't thrown an interception. Mitch has never thrown a pick six, six in his six, career. Six, six. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like, yeah, Peter, you hated it. I didn't like it because it's like, all right, this guy's never given up a three-run homer. Like, mm -hmm. a pick six is one thing. He's thrown a lot of interceptions. Yeah. 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 No pick six. But, but the really yeah, bad right. interceptions egregious, are the pick really sixes. Mistakes. The worst thing you can do is a quarterback. But you can't hang your hat on in your yeah. offense on somebody who just doesn't make the worst mistake. I don't think that does not an offense make. Yeah, I agree. And this week, I would say to make it black and white, you, Trubisky, you have this week to, to stake your claim on this position because if it is going to become the Kenny Pickett experience, you want to give him nine days to prepare for the Jets because... October is an absolute gauntlet for the Steelers. They got to play the Bills, the Bucks, and the Dolphins. Mm -hmm. Wow. And if yeah. the Dolphins are anything like they showed us in the first two weeks on both sides of the ball, the Steelers need something and they need it to go start going well. So this is it last week, I think, for Mr. Mm -hmm. Trubisky. Well, that's tough too because now do you want to throw the rookie into the middle of the gauntlet? And I'll, I'll kind of head back on what Peter said. Watching this Steelers offense, and you talk about Matt Canada, they're not even attempting to throw the ball down the field. So it's just like, yeah, we can all blame Mitch, and Mitch hasn't made the big mistake. Yes, the Steelers defense played out of their mind in week one, so they, they were able to get the win. They haven't put up any points. They're not doing a ton on the offensive side of the ball, but you can't just take the ball and hand it off to Najee Harris every time. Their offensive line is not good enough mm -hmm. to know that, hey, they're going to run the ball and yeah. we're just going to line up and run over you. They don't have that type of offensive line. To me, they have to find ways to get the ball on the outside, whether it's wide receivers. Three good wide There's receivers. so yeah. much talent. Deontay, Claypool, Pickens. Yes. They're not doing anything. Not no. doing anything. Right. They made some individual great plays, but like, one-on-one -on -one coverage on the outside, you have to give them opportunities and throw the ball up. Design plays to get the ball into your playmaker's hands. We can't all just blame Mitch, though. I, I'm missing this, though. We're going around the table. What, what is the case that like, has to be Mitch? Like, what, what is it so compelling about Trubisky that, we, that we're staying with him? Does anybody have, like, no, here's why. I know he's a veteran and the guy's a rookie, but that doesn't do a lot for no, me. No, I think you. I think it's because of the short week. I really do think that that, like, you can't do that to pick it going into this week. But against the Jets mm. next week, he has nine, nine days to prepare yeah. for that. The yeah. team might have nine days. That's why this is it. I'm not sure there's much he could do to really change people's minds, but it has to, something has to, a decision has to be made, I think, especially considering Najee Harris. He's shown us some great stuff. You know. can't just ride him. Know. You know, he, people are going to just start loading the box on him. Well, it's not, not going to go well. They're not going to score any points then. Yeah, right. put the rookie in. If right. it's going to yeah. be the same, put the rookie in. But they decided to go with Mitch for a reason. So I can't just place all the blame on the stagnant offense on Mitch. Mm. Mm. Need a spark. Need a spark. Win this yep. week and miss play well and it's your job. Okay.